Yeah, good afternoon everybody, great to uh, have you listening in. We have, as you can see, centre stage, in front of the camera, <laughs> Jeffrey from Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've, got, look, I've got two chairs, look at this man. Yeah, what, what we're trying to tell you, what we're trying to tell you. It's a good job you can't see that split in your pants. <laughs> Good afternoon, Jason Edge. Good afternoon, Louise Turner. Hello. Good afternoon, Mod Radio. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to have you along with us. Uh, come to talk to us about uh, Electric Stars and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, a uh, new single that's uh, out now. I'm glad you said that, because I couldn't remember if it was a single or an album yet. So No, the album's on its way. It's limping along nicely. Um, it's been coming for a while, but... You know how things are in a band, you've never got enough money, you've never got enough time, you end up doing gigs, um, it's Christmas, and so on, so you you, you kind of uh, get behind schedule. So the song that's out now, We Love You, uh, is off the album, but this will be the last single now before the album itself comes out. Excellent. Eh? Um, so what's been happening with the Electric Stars over the past year? Because you've been a bit... It's about a year since we've seen you, isn't it? Yeah, well, last time I came to see you, um, Sunshine came out, yep. um, and that was supposed to be the last single before the new album came out. Because Sunshine, The Only Lover Left Alive, and We Love You are all on the new album, which is obviously yep. called um, Velvet Elvis. Um, and then we just ran out of money, got tied up doing other things like you do, um, and never never got around to completing it. So I think we're about four tracks away from finishing it now. Got you. Um, what, one of the songs that I'm gonna play you, which is extremely new, yep. is gonna be the, the final track on the uh, on the album. Um, and uh, and then I think we've got another three to record and then that should that should be it. Yeah. We think. Have you done it, Rose? Oh, well, I think so. Am I on? There's no light. No, I was like, oh, there's no light. Oh, I know, I knew it. If, Ruth, if, talk. If, if, <laughs> if all the world's a stage, I want better lighting. <laughs> well, Mark's just uh, sorting something out here. He asked me to do something technical, and of course, have you done it? I asked you to press a button, and you just I pressed the button. sat there. Did I not? You did press the button. Thank you. I'm Listen, here. folks, this is Thank live you. radio, okay? <laughs> it certainly is. In takes, out takes, and any other takes. Let's get ready to rumble, right, shall we? Live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've had your hold ups and everything. You're looking forward to it coming out. Yeah, um, th this album and um, we, we spoke about this before is, is going to be a lot, you know, more um, raw to the close to the bone than Sonic Candy Soul. Um, and t to be honest, even though it's taken a while to, to get to where we are now and the album's just about to come out, um, we've we've got enough songs for the third album already, but. It's difficult when you, you know, you're financing yourself. Diz yeah. Dizzy's wonderful at Detour, fantastic, great label, great guy. Uh, but obviously, you have to put your own work in yeah. to get to the stage of uh, of having songs ready. And it's the same for you and your band, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, lack um, of money, lack of kind of, you know, takes its toll. But you keep going, trying yeah. to get the songs out. That's. I mean, it's it's just <coughs> same throughout the whole business, though, isn't it? The yeah, money. Yeah. The money there is not like it used to be. It's all about self-funding. Yeah. It's all about having to push yourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, and trying to do all that and, and juggle, have, yeah, juggle a normal job yeah, yeah. at the same time. A very good friend of ours uh, has just done the same thing, Darren Connick. Um, I'm sure you, you know Darren very well. No, oh, I have no idea who he is. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and Dar Darren's worked really hard, and he and he's you know he's got self-funding, and he, he's he's finally got his own album done. Yeah, uh, loyalty lies. Um, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether there's a, a four-piece, five-piece band, whatever yeah. it is, we're all trying to do as many gigs as possible to get the funding in, work hard, save you money. But then you, you've got to compromise because when you go in the studio, then you want it to sound great. Yeah. But of course, the more time you put in in the studio to get that sound, the more it costs. Exactly. So uh, yeah. it's it's tough, but we're, we're very close now. Um, we, we're excited because it's going to sound raw. It's going to sound more like the live Electric Stars, uh -huh. uh, as opposed to uh, you know the, uh, the the first album, which was kind of like pre pre live band anyway. The yeah. recordings, but we we love you demonstrates what we can do as a rock and roll band, mm -hmm. uh, and that was pretty much a live recording when we did it, and we spent a lot of time 
not getting the production sounds, uh -huh. actually getting the sound of a live band. Yeah. And that, that in itself can be difficult, you know. But we, we think we got it right with We Love You. Excellent. Probably did. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going to sing a couple of tracks for us today. You're going to go, shall yeah. we go with the first one? And, the, uh, the, the first one is going to be the, the final song on, uh, on the album, and it's called Impossible Odds. Um, obviously it's difficult when it's just an acoustic guitar and, and Louise has come along to help us today. Being dragged along. Drag, drag, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kicking and screaming. Yeah. Um, she was still screaming when she got in. <laughs> <laughs> as long as she screams while the track's going on, that's all right. Um, but I mean, it, it's, again, it's the electric stars that are obsessed with, uh, with gospel and soul as well as our sort of like, yeah. you know, guitar roots. Um, and this one, with a little bit of help from Louise today, will hopefully give off that soulful vibe. Um, but th this will be the, the final song on the album, um, and we're hoping to, to maybe go and start recording this one soon. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, well, if, uh, if you're ready, we'll give it a shot. As I was saying to Ruth when we arrived, we we're still not exactly sure of how this is going to sound. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Not a problem, take it away. Okay. Though I may face impossible odds, I'll show the world and all of its gods. I won't lie down in spite of the cards, cause I'm a survivor. Everybody's got their point of view on me. People judge and criticize so easily When you're down, the demons got no hold on you You need a friend, not an enemy No one really knows what's happening in my head Don't you waste your time analyzing what I said I'm going to say, I'm going to split on these two, because these guys didn't have a clue how it went. No, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say a word, and I was going to say that was very professional. Well done. Oh, if you only knew. <laughs> he, says, he says when he comes in, he says, we don't really know it, we're just going to wing it. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, if that's winging it, well, well done. Well, you know. uh, apart from the fact that we set off, 
and didn't bring the guitar. So we had to borrow a guitar <laughs> off uh, Mod Radio's um, Soft Shoe Steve. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to say thank you. Not only did he provide the guitar, but yeah. stand as well, because uh, well. I don't even know the words to this. <laughs> So, um, Steve, wherever you are, thank you, mate. So this is so fresh and yeah. new. We're hearing it. Yeah, very first time. Very first time. Aren't we privileged? Yeah, aren't we? Yes. Well, the, the, the band it would just mean that Jason wrote it and he don't know words like that. You know? <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, I, play, I played it to the boys once and, and they, they were like non-committal because they'd not heard it at all, you know. So, yeah. so it was a case of, like, yeah, nice one, all right. So we know that this is going to be the last thing that we learn and record uh, and it's going to be I think track 12 uh, to, to take the album out uh -huh. um, in fact it comes straight after We Love You so yeah. we've got this sort of rip roaring rock and roll song um, going straight into this sort of like gospel ballad that, that's the uh, that's the idea it, so it's with regards to this album the new album is it a lot is there a lot more um, light and shade in it for want of a better word yeah Absolutely. I mean, yeah. there was on Sonic, because obviously, obviously on Sonic you've got tracks like Streets and the Stars, which yeah, yeah. are out and out pop. You've got I Want You, which is quite psychedelic. And then you've got Stoned Again, which is, is a ballad. Um, you've got the, the weirdness of bedtime stories and Old Fashioned Girl as well. They're, they're a bit out there. But I think this one, we're, we're relying more on the songwriting um, yeah. in, in terms of a, a great sort of rocker like We Love You it is all about, you know, Screaming out dabs and yeah. all the guitars up to 11. And then songs like this um, are, are very, very um, soulful, really. And um, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of talking about the, the, the struggle that everybody has when things are stacked up against you, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're right. I, I would say that it is more have like we got, this is, With regards to, I mean, your last album, it told a story. Mm. Yeah. This are, one we, tells, are we the same again? This one tells more of a story. Yeah. Uh, so Sonic was, was quite um, quite a psychedelic tale in, in terms of the tale itself yeah. was really off the wall. You, you probably only got it if you were on mushrooms. Um, whereas I don't know what one, you mean. I eat mushrooms most <laughs> days and they never do all for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, th this one, the, the story is easier to understand. Yeah. The music is more basic. So the, the, the rock stuff is, is quite tough. Uh -huh. The ballads are very soulful. Um, yeah, definitely more light and shade, but the story is easier to understand this time, right? um, which is something we, we went, yeah. you know, we, we purposely set out to do that. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of the last album and this album, this album, has it been easier to write? Have you found it easier no, or have no, you struggled the, a bit with it? The, the, the writing, has been the same process all the way through. Yeah. Um, we, we're a very, um, we're quite, the chemistry within the band is good. We get on very well. Um, we write very well, so the songs usually come from me, but when we get in a room together, Keith, Johnny and Andy are, are perfect to bounce off. Yeah. So the writing process has always been good, healthy and very easy with us. It's the recording process for us that's been the problem. Um, with the first album, we didn't have a complete band at the time, uh, as you know. Yeah. We, we did the album, then we got the band in place. Um, with this album, we've had a band, but we've just not been able to record these songs. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we've got our own little man, Krigo, haven't we, Ruth? Oh, well, we have. Yeah, you've got your own little man, because you've got Jonathan French, haven't you? Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny's Johnny's star of the show. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, just give him a fishing rod when he's sat on that stool at back. He's very <laughs> Forget the drum kit. <laughs> you know, he's, he's dead deceptive because he's got a great sense of humour. I know. He very rarely says anything, Johnny, but when he does, yes. you know he said something. Um, no, the ke <laughs> chemistry's great, so song songwriting for us has always been um, easy and um, not the problem. Recording him is the problem. Uh -huh. yeah. That's the, uh, the dilemma. Yeah. The process then, for you, of getting an album out from start to finish. Is the whole process a difficulty? I know, take away the money side of things, yeah. but trying to put everything else together and fit it in with your day-to-day -day jobs and stuff okay, like that. Well, is it difficult to... Let, let, me, let me twist that if I can. If we had a budget, then it would be absolutely... Um, it'd be so simple. Yeah. 
because what we do is we just book two weeks, go in the studio, and just do it. And just do it, yeah. But that to do that, you need an awful lot of money because what you do, you, you kind of go in there. And you wouldn't really have set hours, man. What you'd be doing is going in there in the morning, and if the vibe's right, you're still there at three yeah. the next morning. If the vibe's not good, you finish early and then come back and work again. But you probably lay all your drums down, maybe your drums and bass, some guide guitars on 10, 11, 12 songs in the first few days, and then you revisit it and so on, so that y your process is more like the way big bands do it. Yeah. And, and then your singers in last, putting the vocals on all the songs. Yeah. Um, we're having to do that in a broken process. Uh -huh. So we'll do it song by song. We Love You's just been finished, and obviously it's out now, it's a single, it's out there. But we've had to do that process with one track on its own. Yeah. Now, are you actually finding then? Just sorry to butt in, but it's just something that came in my head. Then, do you do say like when you you're working now? Do you have occasions where you're in the studio, but not everybody's there anyway? Yeah, yeah. Because the they can't get away. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where the budget comes in. Because if you had a budget, people would just say, right, we'll all book off two weeks. Um, at least two weeks, maybe even more. Yeah. Uh, the budget would cover that. It cover the studio. It cover food and drinks and whatever you need. Um, and you just go and do it. Now you can't always do that. So we'll get everybody in for the first day, and then we might lose Andy after that. Yeah. And 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 then we concentrate on drums, bass, percussion. Then we'll get Andy back, but then Johnny's not there because his drums are finished. Yeah. Johnny might have really good input on something, but if he's not there, he's not there. Yeah. You know so. For me, in an ideal world, we'd all be living in a studio for three or four weeks to make an album. It's the same for you and your yeah. band. You're, you're going through this right yeah. now. You know. Just creatively, you've got all the ideas there, you've got all the material. We're constantly writing, aren't we? Yeah. We have new ideas all the time, so it's not hard to do that side of it. It's yeah. just the financial and the kind of getting everybody in the same place at the same time. You're right on the edge of is it two, two songs you've got. Yeah, well, well we've got lots of songs that are kind of half finished at the moment but we're looking to do a few download single releases and then the yeah. album. Um, but it's trying to move it along and get everybody committed to being in the studio and the budget and it's all that kind of thing. Same as you. Yeah. I think we're all in the same boat. But you've got to make it work. Yeah, because um, I mean people out there probably do think that oh everybody goes into the studio, yeah. it gets done and that's it. Yeah. But it doesn't, that's not the real world anymore is it no. No. the real world now is a little bit here a little bit there and then having to tie it all together isn't it really yeah, the other thing mark as well and a lot of people will have you believe that uh, oh you can do it all in your bedroom and you know and that that's okay but we're, we're a live rock and roll band and we we exist out there in venues yeah that's what we do um i wouldn't dream of getting a drum track off a computer loop no. and then putting a bass down in someone's bedroom and singing in another room at someone's house. It's got to be a proper studio for us. Yeah. So we'll set Johnny up in a big live room and we'll mic his drum kit up because that's when Johnny can play. Yeah. Um, so I don't want Johnny in a box. I want Jonathan French playing drums. I don't want to limit Andy. I want Andy with his, with his Marshall stats cranked up so that he sounds like Andy B. Yeah. Um, and, and Keith wants the right bass sound. So for me, working in a non-studio environment doesn't turn me on you know yeah. it's got to be a real studio um our, our heroes or, or all those great you know the kinks the who the stones bowie they all recorded in big studios yeah. and you listen to the sound now it's timeless um and because of, of the way they did it that's what we you know makes it timeless it's not the uh, it's not the ease of oh let's just do it in the bedroom that yeah doesn't, do it for me. I think bedroom is okay if you just wanted to put something out there for uh, people to listen to with regards putting gigs on. Oh, maybe a demo. Yeah. Know, yeah. But, um, but uh, I mean, yes, okay, technology's come on a long way, but yeah, still, has, yeah. you can't be having an engineer doing doing your sound properly, well, so it comes out. Is, it, well? yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. But when you know we're, we're on we're on detail records and uh, we've got a responsibility to Dizzy to supply him with as. You know, material that is as good as we can possibly do. Yeah. I don't want to say, oh, is is a new file dizzy for a new song that we've done? We did it in this bloke's bedroom around the corner. Yeah. No, we're not like that, and and it's the same for you as well. You know, we, we try and be as true as we can to the people that influence us. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I think that covers that. Don't we? Hey, think, think so. hey. <laughs> we got deep there, didn't we? We got deep. Can, so, I, can I have a sip of that tea that Ruth made? Because it's really oh, nice. Yeah. Is that all right?
It's, can. it's called the Witch's Brew. Look at that. That's, um, There's some water as well. Thank you very much. Because I am going to get... I'm glad you're having a sip, because I'm going to get you to sing again now. Uh, can I adjust my chair as well, if that's all right? You can. I'm just going to wander around. Can you, can you think of that? Is that comfy? Yeah, make yourself comfortable, make yourself at home. Yeah, this is our first time in the environment as well. Yeah, well normally you very, used to very... sit and cramp up on the settee, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have I... Have I, um... You've upset the equilibrium now. <laughs> have I encroached on you? The equilibrium's gone, it's gone. So, this one... Yeah. Okay, um truly have no idea what we're doing. This was, was literally finished uh, a couple of nights ago, uh -huh. I got the final verse. Um, no one's heard this, apart from Louise, when I said, look, we're gonna do that new song, and she went, the, the one that I've heard twice. Yeah. Um, but the reason I wanted to play it is because, you know, sometimes when you, you, you're in a moment, and you think, I've got, I've, got, I've got to do this, this needs to be heard. Yeah. I don't really know how it goes properly, so, bear with us but um, th this is definitely going to be on the third album and um, I'm not quite sure where it's going to end up in terms of maybe being a single I don't know but um, right now it's where, where my head is at um, and rather than play something that's already been released um, you, you've got We Love You that you know Impossible yep. Odds is on the album but this is, this is so new that um, <laughs> we don't know it <laughs> so um, yeah Ben it's great stuff it's all first here on Mod Radio <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Take it away. I'll do my best. You might want to take me away when I finish it. <laughs> okay, it's called uh, Good Things and Bad Things. Good things and bad things can happen to you. It's not a choice we're given. I've got a long list of things that I need. It's going to keep me living. I'm clinging on to roundabouts and white knuckle rides The thought of mediocrity is terrifying You've got to live life for the moment No matter what it takes or what they say You've got to live life for the moment Every second a number Live what you dream Shine like a star There'll never be a number I've broken bones and run from home To keep myself sane I'd fight to live the life I want Again and again You've got to live life So what they say, you've got to live life for the moment Every second, minute, hour or day You've got to live life for the moment You've got to live life for the moment Come on and live life for the moment Every second to you Good things and bad things will happen to you Living for the moment No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I believe that! I think Mark knows it better than I know it <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, fantastic, thank you um, 
So what's happening with the electric stars at the moment? What's what's uh, gigs lined up? Are we uh, doing a few festivals this year? Well, or? Um, luckily Turner have said that we could play with yeah. her band. Yeah, <laughs> so we, we're doing a few gigs together. <laughs> we're at the cabin in, uh, yeah, in the May. Room. I think it's May the 18th, is it? Yeah. Friday. Uh, International pop overthrow. Uh, the stars are there a couple of weeks before for the Liverpool Mod Week Kenda, uh-huh. which I believe is sold out. Brilliant. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, then we've got a support spot to Badfinger in uh, Morecambe down in August. Mm-hmm. We've got, uh, oh, I'm losing track of the dates now. I should have had these lined up, shouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I had them all written down, but it was in my guitar case. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, we've got we've got a couple of things in Birmingham with uh, with Mez. Um, that's in the summertime. Hoping to do some London kind of gigs. Oh yeah, well. Brian Gosling is yeah, in the middle yeah. of booking something for for London for us, which is going to be probably Brentwood Arms. Uh-huh. Um, a whole heap of other stuff, and then there's something quite exciting that's going to be happening in June, um, which I can't tell you yet. But um, uh, top but but as soon as I find out, um, yeah. I'm going to let you guys know. Right. Um, it's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, very, very exciting. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Stop <laughs> adding bits to it. It's bad enough as it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I think we can probably tell you off air, and then, yeah. uh, and then as soon as it's one hundred percent, then let you know. But yeah, it's, okay. it's particularly. Exciting. I can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I've got to say, Jason, you're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's all sorts going on. Um, I think three or four of the dates that we mentioned were playing with you guys, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's the few other things that are being organised as well that we're going to be doing. Um, Sounds like you've got a busy time then. Yeah. I, I don't think at the moment it's quite as busy as last year, but I've got a feeling it's going to kick in really quickly. Yeah. Um, and then once it starts, the the album will carry things as well because um, the single that's just come out now, there's a lot of activity around that. But people want the album. We want to get the album out, um, and that's going to be end of the summer. So once you get to kind of like all this time, um, Velvet Elvis will be out. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Excellent. We're, we're looking forward is it to going to be download? Are you going to do any it's vinyl? Be, it's going to be CD and download initially, and then I'm, I'm guessing um, because of the successful uh, launch of Sonic on, on vinyl, then there'll, yeah. there'll be a vinyl version, you know. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to think so. Big thing in it coming back on the vinyl again. Oh, I love vinyl. It's great. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Takes up a lot of room, but no, there's nothing like uh, it do, I mean, a vinyl record, is there? The only reason this is covered in papers is because we need to sort out what we've got first. Yeah, we've got loads of vinyl, but what we've got, I've got no idea. So it's like you can't put a show together with it because you've no idea what you've got. In alphabetical order. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, don't look at me. <laughs> I didn't. I, I pointed at you. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a competition going as well, haven't we? Uh, apparently so. Yeah. The one thing I did remember to bring was some goodies. Yeah. Um, which uh, per- perched over there. You can't have my mobile phone. That's not part of the, the thing. That's but you give yeah. away the. Um, we bag are giving for away life. the bag for life. Yeah. The bag for life from goes from with it as well. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So have we got a question? Yeah, we have. Um, can you name the two songs that we've just played live? Um, Can one you? Of, one of them I gave a title <laughs> to. The other one we didn't. I can't give, even name them. We, we didn't give a title to, but it's it's in the chorus. Yeah. So we've played two songs live. Um, both of the titles are in the song. Um, the one that I didn't mention is is definitely in the chorus. Every chorus. Yeah. Um, and if you can get those two titles, it's yours. And we've got Turner CDs and swag, Electric Stars T-shirts, vinyl album, and I think there's about six CDs in total. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Um, That's a brilliant, nice, brilliant, brilliant prize. We're going to put uh, put everything onto the uh, Facebook page. I'll and, do it now. Uh, Are we having some more we're gonna, songs in a little while? Um, if you give us a chance to rehearse something else, yeah, yeah. Of we'll, we'll play again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of as course. As long as we'll I can finish your Yorkshire tea. Yeah. 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 No, you we'll can. Give you can we'll even have another. another. We'll give you a break because we're not that bad. You know. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know. So we've got one more song to come from these two guys. Uh, yes. They've sung two already. What did you sing before? No. Ah. Yeah. ah. ah. Shut up. I was trying to help everyone then. Wi- winging it and winging it. Yeah. Was it winging it one and winging it two? <laughs> if you could answer that question as to what the two songs were called before, you were in chance of winning the uh, goodie pack there, which is 
very healthy, isn't it? Isn't it superb? Well, it was before John got next to it. I'm things asking, moving. If we get somebody that remembers, that not remembers, but can name the first and the second, can we split it? Or is it got to go out as two? I, I think this has got to go to the mod radio adjudication panel. Yeah. Okay. We'll decide. What Good lad. Whatever you decide. I've got it. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're going to sing. You did song. Yeah, we're going to do a song off uh, Sonic Candy Soul, which which we should know. Um, wow. Well, it sounded off. good when you were practicing. When you, you were winging it a minute ago. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're on winging three now. We're yeah. yeah. in rehearsal, rubbish at the gig. Um, no, it's called Stone Again, which was uh, obviously. It was on the very first thing we did for Detour. Yeah. Um, the first single we did was I Want You on the A side and Stone Again on the B, and then they both appear on the album. In fact, they're over there in the uh, in the goodie pile. In the goodie pile. Yeah. yeah. So um, you're over there. Over there. Right, right near, right near John. So th this is uh, this is our rendition <laughs> of uh, Stone Again. Then. Okay, dokie. Take it away. Okay. From my high, I've been stoned again. Been stoned again. I've been stoned again. I've been stoned again. Stone 
stoned again Absolutely excellent, excellent. Very, very, very Fabulous. good. Well, we'll wait. See, see you, folks. See you, John. Thank you, John. John. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you from there. If he's enjoying himself as John as ever. See you later. See you later, John. All right. Okay, big thanks to you two guys for coming in today. Very Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Always a pleasure. We, just, Always a pleasure. we did mention off air that uh, Louise, when you're ready, you're going to come yeah, in and uh, do the new single. Yeah, definitely. And uh, bring a decent guitarist, we I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you put up with him, Jason? Yeah. Why? I love him. I know, he can <laughs> give, I know he can give as good as he takes, so uh, I'm just waiting and biding my time because I know he'll come back at me. He will. Love the banter. Love the banter. <laughs> 